Do you ever get frustrated or confused with XREFs or external references within AutoCAD? Missing links, broken files, or not knowing the difference between an overlay and an attached XREF? In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most misunderstood yet powerful features in AutoCAD, XREFs or external references. If you work on multiple drawings with a team or even on slightly complicated drawings, these are going to save you a ton of time and these are must know tips. Well, the main benefit is you're going to keep your drawings cleaner and less cluttered. You're basically offloading some of these objects and line work to other CAD files, especially ones that may get edited or changed up regularly. This is a great workflow and practice to get into drawing files where someone else may be changing and updating them, especially in say a multidisciplinary project, say an architectural project where you've got an electrical designer changing up the electrical and a say an interior designer adding in cabinets and furniture. Those two can work separately, but using the same referenced floor plan, allowing two people to collaborate at the same time without overwriting or getting in each other's way. There are a ton of other benefits, things like keeping things separate just for organization's sake. This allows you to quickly turn them on and off when you do and don't need them. And as I mentioned, it keeps that final drawing file much smaller. 